Hey guys, it's X Original Tech, and finally, iOS 9 jailbreak has been released. So for iOS 9 beta, 9.1 beta and stuff like that, the jailbreak has not been released yet. But for iOS 9. Point, all of the public versions of iOS 9 are jailbreakable. As you can see here, I have the iOS 9 jailbreak from Pangu. So to me, I didn't know who was going to release the jailbreak. I wasn't sure if it was going to be I Hate Snow. I really doubted it, but I wasn't sure if it was going to be I Hate Snow or it was going to be any other person. So I just, when I saw it, I was just surprised, but it's finally here. So that is going to be something I'm going to be showing you at the end of the video. I am going to be showing you how to jailbreak an iPad. So I know you iPad users have been waiting for this because there are a whole bunch of new versions of new stuff on iOS 9 that you guys have been looking for. Like all of the multi-window and stuff like that. You guys have probably been waiting for that. And I know you iPhone 6S users have definitely been waiting for this because the iPhone 6S is absolutely amazing. Especially the screen, I've heard that it can withstand a lot. So I know you iPhone 6S have been waiting for this jailbreak. So I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak an iPad 2 as you can see right here. And it says jailbreak ready. So on the top left hand corner I'm going to be showing you how far we have come. So we've come all the way from iOS 6 but all I have is iOS 7 here from iOS 7.1 to 7.1.x. And then we have the 8 Taiji jailbreak tool which is 8.1.3 all the way to 8.4 and it also jailbreaks betas a beta 1 and beta 2 of 8.2 so if you have those two still you can still jailbreak or which i definitely recommend update into the latest version which is ios 9.0.2 and using this jailbreak so we have come a really long way and i can't wait to see what apple will do with ios 10 if it's even going to be called that so now we're going to get started on the ios 9.0.2 jailbreak so the first thing you're going to need to do is make sure that your iPad or your iPhone has no password on it. Like no password at all, no pin number, no nothing. And then once you have make sure that has happened, you can restore it if you want. If you have a lot of files on it, I suggest that you back it up and then restore it. And then once you've restored it, you have a fresh tablet. It's definitely recommended that you restore it guys, but if you don't have that much files on it it doesn't necessarily need it need to be done but i definitely recommend it then you put your device in airplane mode even if you don't have a sim in guys i still recommend that you do this because it just makes the jailbreak run more smoothly then you download the jailbreak from this website right here called all you have to do is put in enpangu.io then click space enter Guys, it will take a while to load up the website because a lot of people have been downloading this jailbreak because everybody wants to try out the new iOS 9 jailbreak. So once you once you click download, it will take you down here. And then as you can see right here, it says iPhone Steve's iPhone 6S is connected. So once you see that, like it says right here, and then it says jailbreak ready, all you have to do is click that start button. So as you can see here, it says it comes up with a jailbreak notice telling you all that you need to back up and it's definitely recommended that you back up. So since I've already backed up and I've restored, all I have to do is click already backed up and then it's going to start the jailbreak process. So I'm not sure if you guys want me to skip this, but I'm just going to see how long it's going to take. So it did come up with an area here. I'm going to troubleshoot that and I'm going to be right back with you guys. So hey guys, I did troubleshoot it and as you can see here, I am back. So what happened was I needed to restart the app. I'm not sure why, maybe I had it up for too long. So all you have to do if you get that error that I just got is just restart the Pangu Jailbreak app and then it will start, just click already back up as I said before and it will start to install stuff on your iPad. On my iPad, what I see right now is I see Pangu, a new app that has been installed and WWDC, which is the new, um, thing that Apple will release stuff on like when they release the iPod Touch 6 and then it will come up with restoring on your device and you're done as you can see right here it says waiting for your device to restart so automatically you guys should have common sense and that should tell you that your device is restarting so throughout this process it is a hundred percent recommended that you do not do not mess with the wire or if you have a broken wire suggest you get a new one because you might mess up your device so you don't mess with the wire and you just leave the device jailbreak so right now I don't think I need to be skipping it because it's on 55% and it's going quite fast 
so as you can see here it says reboot um finished and as you can see the device is starting back up and then it comes up with this right here so now it's telling me to unlock the my device and put it in airplane mode and it has a countdown so my device is already in airplane mode uh, you guys device should be in airplane mode before you even start the jailbreak as recommended as i said before so all i have to do once i um, my device properly starts up is slide to unlock and leave it because it didn't tell me to do anything else make sure you close down itunes as soon as it pops up um, and then you just leave it and wait for it um, and close down the quick tour and then just wait I'm gonna pause right here and see if it's gonna move from here so here guys the problem was that my device automatically kicked itself out of airplane mode once I restarted it so I had to put back on airplane mode I'm sorry but you should have your device in airplane mode before you start and while it's telling you to start so now please unlock your device and run the Pangu app you should definitely have the Pangu app all you have to do is click on the Pangu app and nothing else if it kicks you out click on it again but it seems to be kicking me out so I'm gonna pause it and see what happens so this is good that I'm getting all of these errors because then I can explain them to you pro you guys properly so hey guys I'm sorry so if you did get the error where your Pangu app refused to open what you have to do is you have to close down the iOS 9 Pangu jailbreak and restart it and start your jailbreak again so what happened was I guess the jailbreak skipped a step where my device did not um, reboot so now it's telling me I have to unlock my device and put it in airplane mode again so as you can see it did boot back up and obviously it's gonna come up with the iTunes thing guys remember you have to close down iTunes because iTunes and jailbreaks do not work well together just like jailbreak devs and Apple do not work well together so what you have to do here is if iTunes come up just close it down but obviously as it says right here all you have to do is slide to unlock and swipe up and put your device in airplane mode so as you can see here I'm gonna close down iTunes and it's gonna say injecting one and injecting two and then I'm just gonna close this down and slide to the right and let's just wait for it to finish injecting two and I'll come back right back to you guys once it's finished so sorry so as it come back right here as it says injecting two is on 65 percent and now you should see the WWDC and now it says preparing the environment for five and then it shows on 75 percent and now it says you should open your Pangu app so now you open your Pangu app as you can see right now I've got past that step because all I did was restart my the jailbreak so now on your device you should see Pangu jailbreak for iOS 9.0 Pangu jailbreak needs permission to access your photo library please like click accept button and choose OK in the next system dialog all you have to do is click the accept at the bottom and then click OK so it can access your gallery and then it will say update in jailbreak resources and it will go all the way up to 85% so once you're at this point all you have to do is wait guys most of this device requires you not to touch your device but if it asks you to touch your device you should definitely do what it says so now it's gone to 90% and it says jailbreaking and please wait now on your device you should just see a white screen there shouldn't be anything else just a white screen with back to Pangu and your time on the top and in the top right hand corner you should see not charging if you have this plugged into a laptop or into a USB cable so now all I see is a white screen I'm just waiting for this to say 100% and done so that we could see so that we can finish this jailbreak so now I'm just going to leave it here so you can leave it play through so we can see how long this should take And by the way guys this shouldn't take too long but if it does take a while then you should definitely leave it because I don't want you guys to have to restart it and then something messes up so just leave it for a little 
quite a while because jailbreaks are no easy things and they're definitely not easy things to create so just leave it and just let the jailbreak process go through especially if you guys haven't um, restored your device if you just jailbreak your device from a dirty jailbreak then just definitely leave it because that requires it to install more data which means it's going to take a little bit longer but if you guys have restored your device and this is a brand new device this jailbreak should breeze through but as you can see right now it's not breezing through so I'm going to pause right here because it looks like it's going to be taking a while and I don't want to make this video way too long so as you can see here guys it says final cleanup so we're on 98% so and finally it says jailbreak complete so after this I recommend that you leave it plugged in until your device completely reboots so right now my device it says please connect another device right now my device is turned off and now it's gone back to the Apple bootloader and it's restarting so even though it says this and it says jailbreak complete just leave your device until it is fully booted up once it's fully booted up then you see the Cydia app then you can remove the, the USB if you would like to. So now I'm just going to wait for it to boot up and then I'll be right back with you guys. So hey guys, this is the last part. So finally your device has rebooted. All you have to do is slide to the right and slide over and you should definitely see a Cydia app. So once you've seen this, you can plug out your device on the jailbreak it will say jailbreak ready do not click start again because if you see Cydia that means your device is jailbroken and you will definitely not need to click start again so all you have to do now once you have finished the jailbreak is just click on Cydia and Cydia should be preparing some file systems this is definitely normal all you have to do is click it will say your device is full if you that doesn't mean anything it isn't actually full it's just saying that and then your device will respring. So basically, if you're new to jailbreaking, respringing is just like a quick reboot. So it just quickly reboots your device. So once it's prepared and file systems, all you have to do is wait for it to completely reboot, and then that it, that is it. So now that my device is respringing. That was actually really quick, and now I'm back on my home screen, and the jailbreak is complete. So if you guys like this video and you want me to do more of these videos, like. I am definitely going to be carrying on the jailbreak updates because people actually like those so I'm going to be carrying on the jailbreak updates so this is actually going to take please like subscribe and comment and if you want any help you can go to me on Twitter I have actually restarted my Twitter account so I am back on that and you can go to me on any other thing so I was going to do an Android portion of this videos for all you Android guys but this is based on a full Apple video because that Pangu jailbreak did come out and I really did want to talk about um, Pangu and the jailbreak so that's it guys if you like as I said before like subscribe and comment and if you want to talk to me you can DM me on Twitter this is Extra Regional Tech signing out peace